to another video. There is going to be a, a whole load of series on this videos. Uh, because we are doing my DMX 2.0, and that means there's going to be more than one video. So I'm going to be putting them in a playlist for you guys to watch whenever you like. Um, so yeah, um, we have two lights here. We have uh, 50 watts. LED moving head and a slim Parkham 56. You guys have got no idea what they are. I will show you right now. Here we go. Here they are. That one's the slim Parkham 56, and that one's the moving head which has 50 watts of LEDs in. So yeah. So yeah, that's the lights that we're working with. Um, by the end of these, uh, however many tutorials there is, we are going to be made a whole load of scenes for a piece of music. You might have heard it. You might have not. I don't think it's copyright. I very much doubt it. Um, and so you'll be hearing that in a sec once I've gone through the, what else we're going to be doing. <clears throat> Behind me is a laptop with my DMX 2.0 on. Uh, we have all the channels that the lights need. And we're using 19 channels. Uh, well, 18 channels kind of, but uh, we're using 19. So, yeah. Um, we're going to go run, run through of what everything does up here. I don't know if you can see you just. Here's uh, a new page. Here's you open up your folder. So, right. Um, so, so you can open the, like what you've saved and stuff. This is the save button. That's the undo, that's the go forwards again, you know, the scene builder, you make your scenes and that, 3D visualizer, I can't open that, so I've got the full, uh, the 1212 channels, and this is uh, make to make gobos. Uh, here's you make the scenes, you can add scenes. Get away scenes. Sorry about flicking that thing around. I'll put that down. Uh, uh, here you can um, copy the scenes. Um, here's the settings so you can put the key number on uh, for what scene you want. Uh, this is to go up and down your scenes and then this is to play it. We'll show you that in a sec. Down here we've got all the sliders that we need to create and move our lights. Uh, so, going well. Uh, over here is steps, we can add steps. We get away steps. We can copy them, paste them, get rid of the settings, the fade time, the hold time. But we'll come on to that a bit later. Over here we've got the live tab. So you can't edit them when they're in the live tab. And here's just a standalone thing for the my DMX buddy. My DMX buddy. Uh, so yes. Now, we, yeah, now you're going to be listening to the piece of music that we're going to be putting these lights to. Um, after I've done the tutorials, of course. Uh, so, just relax and listen to this.
Well, uh, that was the piece of music that you're all going to be, um, that we're going to be making the lights to at the end of the, the tutorials. But now uh, we are going to uh, <coughs> do some tutorials now. So let's get on and do it. Uh, so yeah. So we want to just make sure everything's turned off and everything. Um, so yeah. Flip sakes. Um, basically, the first thing we want to do is have it go here and get a new scene. Like, and make sure it's highlighted blue because otherwise you're not working on another scene. You see? You want to get rid of that one then. Basically, what we want to do, we want to get, <coughs> uh, we want a blue, let's say we're doing a, I don't know, a Panto in the, name the direct disasters for a nice red spotlight at the back wall of the stage and <coughs> a nice gobo, a star gobo uh, on the floor of the stage, okay? So, if I just set the camera up here. Oh, and we can plus, we can name them. So let's name this one. Um, what should we name it? Let's name it. Uh, red wall. There we go. Red wall. So I'm just going to set the camera up for you to for you guys to see. And then I'll be back. Right. Basically, what we're doing here is that uh, we wanted a red, no, a blue light at one corner of the stage. So we'll have that over there. And then we wanted a star gobo to on the floor which was any colour that we liked. So let's make the blue first. So we need like that. I reckon that could be, I don't know, um, a bit dimmer. So probably like like that, and then we want the the um, moving head. We want down. And cross. And up. And then we want it across a tiny bit, like that, with a gobo on it. So, um, a star gobo with a colour. Right. Let's have a green gobo, uh, star. Right. There we go, that's the first thing we've done. Uh, so yeah, so what we've done is that we've got a shutter up, the shutter, and then we've got blue there, and which is half, and then we've gone to here to turn the um, moving head on, and then we've gone to here, to, which moves it where we want and then this one moves it up or down and then we um, go to the colour nope we've gone to the gobo section and chosen the gobo that we've wanted and then we've went to the colour wheel and chosen the green and now what we have to do is go up here and click save and then create a new scene 
uh, and let's say we wanted a on the Park Aaron 56 we wanted a strobe a tiny bit of strobe with red light and a gobo with a green uh, no, a blue light so let's call this one um, strobe Strobe. So we've got the strobe, and we want to put this up to turn the uh, shutters on, and this one. So we wanted a red strobe, didn't we? So we go over. We'll go over to here then. We'll create some steps. It's a good example to use some steps. We'll go to here. We we'll put these down. Okay, there we go. Then we're going to go to this one, that one up, go to this one, that one down. There we go. So now we've created the stroke effect. So what we do is press control and go to, and then uh, what you'll do is then we can go to the settings and change the hold set, uh, hold thing and it'll go to zero. We want it to go down to zero. And so um, then if we play, uh, nope, we have, because we haven't finished. And then we go over to the moving head and we wanted a gobo on the floor, didn't we? Um, right about there and cross. I'll show you guys what it looks like in a sec, but we want to see what it's like doing it. Uh, go boat, so we go to here, we choose what go boat we want. Don't want that one. So go for that one with a mm, let's go for a two color one. Mm, that one? No, go for that one. Green and red should never been seen. So yeah, we've got that now. So we want to put that for all of them. Is with this. So that wants to be down. No, down. Should have done this first, shouldn't I? With the gobo, no, what colour was it? Red and white. With the gobo, that gobo. Uh, no, we wanted it blue, didn't we? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. We'll go for a slight blue and white. Okay, so now we've got this. So if we press play, we've got a strobe effect. Why it's um, still get the go bird. So if I s swing the camera around, then you can have a look. Right, here I'm going to press play and now you can have a look. So there's a strobe with the red and the gobo, which is purple there and white here. That's how we do that. And these would, so that is called basic scenes. You're making a basic scene using the sliders. So that is the first tutorial of basic scenes. The next tutorial is going to be, um, it's going to be about like making more scenes and uh, using the steps. So we'll see you all guys next time. Bye for now. Yeah.